YouTube, what is up? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's DTV, and I'm back with another banger. And today, I'm going to be checking out Josh Wolf, just the tip. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. Listen, we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers, and we almost there. But I need your help. So if you're watching my content, enjoy my content but you're not part of the family yet we got to change that so smash that subscribe button and hit the bell too but uh y'all ready for this one let's run it baby let's get it let's go the funniest thing about kids is they they don't think that we experience what they experience like we were teenagers we did right right what you did like they think like you wouldn't understand oh no like he thinks he's the only person that ever broke something in a house and just pretended like it ever happened no oh, i didn't do that you guys remember that shit? Where you break something when you were a kid and you just throw the pieces out like, it, like that lamp never existed? <laughs> like your parents, two grown-ups, are going to walk into the living room and just notice that the, one of the two lamps that isn't there. That's how dumb teenagers are. They're dumb as shit. Facts. I dropped a keg on a hardwood floor in my house growing up when my parents were out of town. We had a party. I, it was in the dining room. I just slid the dining room table and rug over nine inches. Like, don't, they'll never notice. <laughs> That's the first thing my mom noticed when she walked in. She was like, why is the table there? I'm like, how'd you notice? She was like, I'm a grown up. <laughs> now, we all know pitfalls of being a teenager, right? So you have to decide which ones you want to warn your kids about and how you should warn them, you know? I think we've all changed how we warn our kids about drinking and driving. Now it's the message is easy. Call an Uber, call an Ift, a Lyft. I'll pay for everything. Like, right, there's right. no excuse for it to ever happen, you know? And right. I know all the people that I know have kids are very vocal about that now. And, and I don't know too Excuse many me. teenage kids that are drinking and driving anymore because of that, right? We're pretty clear on this message now. And, but there's other things that you don't, you, you know they're gonna run into that you don't tell them about. Because how would you? Like my daughter, look, one of the pitfalls that I knew my daughter was going to run into, my daughter, my princess, my baby girl, the smartest young woman that I know. But I knew that my daughter, my baby girl, you know what pitfall I knew she was going to fall for? You know what I knew she was going to fall for? I knew that my daughter was going to fall for just the tip. How did I know she was going to fall for that? Because you fell for it, and you fell for it, and you fell for it, and you fell for it. You all fucking fell for something. If you didn't fall for just a tip, you fell for it. I just want to lay naked next to you. Just want to fall. I want to know what it feels like. Don't shake your fucking head. You all fell for something. Oh, shit. And that's what I knew. I'm like, she's going to fall for that shit. And by the way, it's not that I don't want her to have sex. I'm not that guy who's like, oh, I know that's going to happen. But the tip is where the bad stuff comes from. <laughs> the tip makes me makes babies. I don't want that shit. I don't want babies. I'd rather have a guy say, just the nuts. Fine, dude. Stuff your nuts in there. I got no problem with that. <laughs> stuff nuts. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run for office under stuff nuts. Oh, Looks shit. Like it. Looks like it feels great. Stuff nuts. No kids. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> His brother's a trip, man. It's so funny to see them do shit that I did. I remember the first time I found my son drunk in my kitchen, my oldest son. And here's the thing. He was, here's how you can tell someone's drunk. You can tell they're drunk by what two foods they're combining together. Oh, my God. you eating chips and salsa, you're not that drunk. Right, he was right. He dipping chicken into peanut butter. <laughs> Sitting in the corner of the kitchen like this. And he was like, this is delicious. <laughs> and he even said, I think this is how they discovered Reese's. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. So I was like, hey man, get, put the chicken and the peanut butter down. Get upstairs, dude, this is embarrassing. He was like, okay. And he goes upstairs. And on his way up the stairs, I said to him, hey, just so you know, man, that chicken and peanut butter, that's not gonna be good for you later. <laughs> and I was right. Because I heard that, we've all heard that, right? That late night run to the bathroom. Your body is amazing. Your body is amazing for this reason. You can pass out. As a, per as a man, I've passed out. <coughs> Dudes have put their nuts on my cheek. No, they placed their dicks on my forehead. <laughs> they squirt shit all over you. You don't wake up. But you got to puke and your body's like, Pew! and sends you off running in a direction, right? <laughs> so I hear him running down the hallway. 
<laughs> and then there's oh, silence, and shit. then I just hear. <laughs> Throwing up sucks, man. I swear. This isn't fun anymore. <laughs> Silence, and then just. <laughs> and my favorite, I swear to God. <laughs> I'm never drinking again. <laughs> if you let me stop throwing up. <laughs> I will never drink again. Real shit, man. Real shit. They be like that sometimes. And then he did a couple of them, what I like to call my favorite, the silent scream. You know when you're like, oh, I don't feel so good. I don't. <laughs> oh, those are bad. Those are bad. Uh, those hurt. Oh, that really hurts my stomach. Oh, those hurt. That hurts so much. I hope that never happened. <laughs> but your abs never look better that next day. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I need to do some more of those. <laughs> Real shit, man. It be like that sometimes, bro. I don't drink anymore. Um, obviously, I've drank before, right? But damn, throwing up like that was the... Worse. Anyway, sound off in the comments below. Let me know what is next from Josh Wolf, and I get to it ASAP. But, yo, I'm going to end this video right here. If you made it to the very end, you're the real MVP, baby. No cap. If you enjoyed this video, y'all know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, gang. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.